The Farms.com Wheat Report is brought to you by Altitude FX and BASF Canada. One of the first things uh, the, the Grain Commission will do is when an inspector gets the sample is uh, we will do a dockage on that sample. Now dockage is any material other than the, the grain that is uh, the, of that sample should be removed from, from, the, uh, from that grain. Part of the procedure for, for wheat is you would actually use a Carter dockage machine uh, set up with uh, you know, the aspiration and the feed settings set properly and then you use a six buckwheat sieve with a five and another five is the official method that is, is used in the Carter dockage machine. Uh, so, uh, we, first step is to remove all that dockage, and dockage usually consists of chaff, uh, material, uh, weed seeds, uh, aspiration, which can be dust, uh, that type of thing. And so, that's that's what should be removed. Uh, you shouldn't be removed getting any wheat or whole sound wheat removed in the dockage procedure. Uh, and you might get some cracked wheat that is that goes through that uh, five buckwheat sieve. That would be considered as dockage. Anything. That that goes through that. So uh, it's uh, important to know that uh, these procedures are are outlined in our the Canada the official grain grading guide, and uh, that official grain grading guide can be found on our website at uh, www.grainscanada.gc.ca, and within that uh, you can. Go to our, our main page here, and just on down the right-hand side, you will see uh, our official grain grading guide. And if you click on that, there's all of the uh, different, the 20 different grains that the Canadian Grain Commission is responsible for, uh, and the moisture t tolerances, the test weight, uh, and all the grading factors are in there. So with wheat, uh, in there you have our determination of dockage, so the procedure for uh, how to do dockage is, is right there on our, on our grain grading guide. As well, uh, you can go into grading factors. So for instance, uh, we'll look at fusarium damage. So it describes what fusarium damage is and it has all the different grading factors are all described there as to how an inspector should grade them and and should de determine what is and what isn't a certain grading factor. If we just go back, we also have our primary grade determinant tables, which, and, and you have all the different uh, nine different classes of wheat in Western Canada and all the Eastern classes of wheat, but we'll concentrate on red spring wheat. And within this, it gives all of the specifications for all the different grades. And so right from our test weight, our degree of soundness, which actually describes the, uh, the standard samples, the physical sample of how much mildew and how much frost can be in there. And as we go down, we have our foreign material in here. So what's uh, also important is our total foreign material here which is, can, can be a combination of ergot and excreta and, and stones, but it also is our barley, if you're grading wheat, barley, oats, rye, any other grain that uh, would be in there, then, then that is a, we have tolerances for that. So if you do have grain that, uh, you know, previously crop had uh, barley on the, on the field the year before and it, it gets some growth into your wheat crop, there is a limit for how much you can have in there. Uh, it's, uh, so we have tolerances for our, all the different classes of, uh, or all the different grades, okay? Also, uh, we do have wheats of other classes tolerances, so that if you do have grow red winter wheat on your field one year, and then you grow red spring the next year, and you get some regrowth there as well, there are tolerances for that because the it really the different types of wheat, different classes, they have different, very different end use characteristics, and it can impact the 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 end use of that wheat if there's too much in there. 
So we have tolerances for that as well. And then you get down into your grading factors for uh, just environmental as it grows in the field, fusarium damage, midge damage, uh, different, uh, you know, if it gets a wet harvest, you could run into sprouting. So we have all of these tolerances are all on our, our uh, in the grain grading guide on the website. And that's for everybody to access. Uh, our international customers are looking at this uh, and, you know, producers can look at it as well. So it's, uh, it's a valuable tool that, that is there. Uh, also on our, our website actually uh, is a, we'll just go back to our main page. Uh, there's a lot of information on here for all our moisture charts are on, the, on here. Uh, and, and there's calculators, so if we do have a wet harvest, uh, you know, what, uh, what can you expect to be deducted for wet grain uh, at the primary elevator? You can go on, you can check that to see if, uh, you know, you're being deducted appropriate amounts. Uh, so there are some of those tools. There's uh, our grain drying. Uh, there's information on there as well for for that, so there's a lot of information on our website that producers can can go and access, and uh, you know, for instance, uh, managing stored grains and and uh, you know how to control insects in your grain. Uh, some years it's there's no problem with that. Other years, you know, there can be, uh, but uh, you know, just and also depends on you know how you're storing your grain whether you're storing it in a big quonset or if you got bins with aeration can really affect you know if you may have insects or not so so a lot of information on our website that you know is there for producers to to access the farms.com weed report has been brought to you by altitude fx and basf canada visit www.clearfield.ca/wheat for more cereal solutions